Welcome to the homework for lesson one. This is module two of second grade. Get your name on here first. I always say that because a lot of times people forget. Count each centimeter cube to find the length of each object. So we have a picture of a crayon here and these boxes underneath are drawings of a centimeter cube and you just count them. One, two, three, four. The crayon is four centimeter cubes long. And we'll look at the picture of the, picture of the pencil. One, two, three, four, five. The pencil is five centimeter cubes long. So far, all of the pictures, we've just been crossing off all of the cubes, but not that's not always going to work. Here, you notice that there's an extra cube that's sticking out because the clothespin only goes about that far. So we only need to cross off one, two, three, four. The clothespin is four centimeter cubes long. So sometimes there's an extra cube. Sometimes there's more than one extra cube. Here's one of those cases. Now, if you'll notice at the beginning, this is important to notice. We're not going to just start crossing off at the left because that one at the first, that first one there on the left, this guy right here, he's an extra cube. We don't need to count that because it doesn't help us uh, mark up. If we, if we were going to mark and move or just mark, count how many cubes long this is, that's not one of them because that, that comes too soon. And then these three here at the end we're not going to count those either because they stick out too far so one's too too many on the left three too many on the right we're just going to count the ones under one two three four five six seven eight nine ten length of the marker is ten centimeter cubes richard has 43 centimeter cubes Henry has 30 centimeter cubes. What is the length of their cubes altogether? So Richard's, this is their cubes altogether. So this is a put together. So we'll take Richard's 43 centimeter cubes and I'm not gonna draw 43 centimeter cubes, but I'm gonna draw this long chain and pretend it's 43 centimeter cubes. I'm just going to label it with 43. And I'll write CM because that's the abbreviation for centimeters. And that's Richards. R for Richards. And then Henry has 30 centimeter cubes. So that's a little bit less than 43, but it's still going to be added on to the end of Richards. So Henry. H and Henry has 30 centimeter cubes. And what we're looking for here is how long is it now from this end all the way to the other end, the left end to the right end? How long is it? What is the length of their cubes altogether? So we have to add the 43 plus the 30. And you could look at this, uh, this is, you might be able to just look at the digits and do this mentally, 43 plus 30. You don't have to, you don't have any ones to add with the 30. It's just adding three tens. So 40 plus 30 would be 70. And then don't forget this, these three ones here, 73. Now we need to an answer sentence. their cubes are 73 centimeters long all together. The length of Marissa's loaf of bread is 54 centimeters. She cut off and ate seven centimeters of bread. What is the length of what she has left? 
So I'm going to draw another tape diagram like the one up here. But this is going to be different because she had a... We know that she had a length of bread. This whole... Her, here's her all of her bread. This is Marissa's loaf of bread, M. And it's 54 centimeters long. So we know that this whole thing from end to end... Fifty-four centimeters long. She cut off an eight centimeter, seven centimeters of bread, and what's the length that what she has left? So let's see. She cut off. This is what she ate, and everything else is left. So she ate seven centimeters, and we were trying to figure out what is it. How much of it is left? So we're looking for two parts of 54. We know one of them is seven. We got to find the other one. So when you're looking for a missing part, we subtract. And now here's a case where you really could, if you don't just know 54 minus seven, which most of us would have to Use some kind of mental strategy to, to figure this out, but write you can write this down how you do it because you're gonna use take from ten strategy. This is a great opportunity for it. The minus there's really no other good way, to, easy way to think about it that comes to me. So I'm thinking of forty four and ten, right? And so that this ten minus seven is gonna live leave me with three left over. 44 plus 3, which will be 47. Are there other ways to do that mentally? Uh, for one another example, you could have thought of you could have thought of it this way. You could have split up the seven into a four and a three, and that way you could have ended up with. 50, it's kind of like doing it the arrow way, really. Because you take away 4 from the 54 and you have 50. And then you have to think of 50 minus 3, which will also get you 47. It's really more of an arrow way to think of it than using a number bond. Uh, so I need to uh, answer sentence here. Um, the length of bread... That is left is 47 centimeters. There's probably a quicker way to write that or a shorter way to write it, but that's what I thought of. The length of Jimmy's math book is 17 centimeter cubes. His reading book is 12 centimeter cubes longer. What is the length of his reading book? So here we have... His math book, we know how long that is. Okay, math book. That's 17 centimeter cubes. His reading book, we don't know how long it is, but we do know we do know it is We do know it's longer than the math book, so let's make it longer. And how much longer is it? It's 12 centimeter cubes longer. So it's going to be about that much longer. Not quite as long as the 17, but a lot of it. So this is what we have to find out, the length of the whole reading book. This is the more, or this is the longer We know that's 12. And the this part of the reading book here, this is this would be the same as the math. So that's the 17. This part is 17 centimeters. So we have two parts to put together to figure out the whole thing. That's 17 plus 12.
and uh, that is going to be, I mean, we can see this. We've got two tens to add. This is an easy, kind of a simpler one that you can do in your head looking at the digits. We have two tens to add together for 20, and then this 7 plus 2 is 9, so we have 20 plus 9, right? That's 29. If we're going to write this out arrow way, which is how I would write it out. 17 plus 10 gets you to 27, and then two more. 29. And we need... Oops. Jimmy's. I'm going to run out of room here on the bottom. Jimmy's math book is 29. Centimeters. What's our a unit of centimeter cubes, right? So centimeter cubes long. 